Hi hey everyone, let's begin one more new problem. In this particular problem, what we have to do here is chi-square test. But in this chi-square test, we have a different kind of degree of freedom because we have two rows, male and female category, and but we have three columns. That means we are checking our three social media platforms. One is YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. How we can calculate chi-square test, whether this is our main problem, a researcher wants to investigate gender and the preferred choice of social media platform were independent. To test the phenomena, following data was collected. Discuss the test at 90% confidence interval. So researcher wants whether there is any relationship between gender and preference of the social media platform or not, or both these things are independent. So for this purpose, this data we have, and in the last column, you can see this is the total. Total means this is the sum of all these three numbers. YouTube, 52, 33, Facebook, Twitter, 48, so 133. Female, Data is 46 plus 42 plus 34, then it will become 122. And when we have to add on both these numbers, so 255 total. But when we are taking independently YouTube, how many males and how many females data, that is 98. Facebook, 33, 42, 75. Twitter, 48, 34, 82. Right, so total data is 255. So now, first thing what we will do, you can see here, first of all, we have to frame hypothesis. So you can see here, there are two hypotheses. One is null hypothesis, gender and social media platform choices are independent. Second one is gender and social media platform choices have relationship. That means they are associated. That means gender is somewhere is affecting social media platform choices. So we just want to check whether it's correct or it is wrong. Which hypothesis would be accepted and which hypothesis would be rejected? Now we come to the degree of freedom. How we are going to calculate degree of freedom? Number of rows minus one multiplied by number of columns minus one. So we have two rows. You can see here one row and second row. So we have two rows. So two minus one. This is the point and number of columns when we can check one two and three. There are three columns. This is the only total. So we will ignore this. And last is row also. That is that is reflecting total. We will ignore. So three minus two. So degree of freedom would be two. Now we will calculate expected frequency. Observed frequency we have already have observed frequency, but this is the expected frequency. Expected frequency you can see a into b divided by n. That means A into B means we are going to multiply this total multiplied by this total, right? Because for corresponding to this, we want to check and divide it by total number, divided by this number, right? Same way, if suppose we want to get the expected frequency for this. So this one multiplied by this one and divided by this. So we will get expected frequency A into B divided by N. So now you can see we have got 51.11, 50, and this is for female 46.89, Facebook 39.12, and for female 35.88, Twitter 42.77, and 39.23. Now, finally, we will prepare this chi square table. This O stands for observed frequency, that is, we have taken in our problem statement. E stands for expected frequency that we had calculated. And this is O minus E multi and whole square. So O minus E means 52 minus 51.11 whole square, that is 0 0.79. Again, O minus E, right, 46 minus 46.89 whole square, right, 33 minus 39.12. Right, in that way, we had calculated. Now, O minus E whole square divided by E. So what we have to do, it will be divided by this particular number, respective to this number. This is divided by this number, So and so on. So finally, we will sum up. So our chi-square calculated value is 3.37. 
After this degree of freedom, we had already calculated R minus 1, C minus 1, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 1 and finally degree of freedom is 2. So we will check at this degree of freedom what is the table value, chi-square test table value. Now calculated value of chi-square is lesser than the table value in R, this problem statement, the hypothesis is accepted. Hypothesis accepted. Why? Because calculated value is 3.37 and our table value is 4.6. And in our case, this 4.6 is calculated value is lesser than table value. That is why we had accepted our this hypothesis. So hence, gender is not influenced choice of social media platform. But before concluding this, we have to find out how we, we will check table value. So let me go to the table. This is our chi-square table. You can see here in this table, our degree of freedom is 2. And we are checking this at the 90%, right? 9%, 90% confidence interval. So what is our value? We have to check, right? So at this point, this is our value 4.6. We are taking at the 90% confidence interval because in our problem statement, it is already given 90% confidence interval. So in that way, we have got this value 4.6 and uh, at the 90% confidence interval. So we can say gender not influencing choice of social media platform. That is, that means social media platform preference. It is free from gender. So I hope this video will be helpful to you and number of problems we will discuss in the coming up videos. Thank you so much. Keep watching. Stay tuned.